Hey guys, I don't have to tell you this is a really, really stressful time at the moment. And we talked about in a previous video how there are three sources of stress, home, school, and social media. We talked about social media in a different video. So this way we're gonna talk about how the expectations from home and school are gonna be stressing you out. I'm sure everyone has very high expectations of you. I'm sure you're told that on a regular basis because as parents as teachers we do have high expectations of you we want you to succeed and we want you to do your best but sometimes repeatedly telling you of that repeatedly telling you that you have high expectations and what those high expectations are sometimes that can just lead to you feeling really rubbish about yourself and really really rubbish when you don't meet those expectations. So the expectations from school are probably going to be based around your predicted grades. Now your predicted grades are generally going to be based on key stage two data. Do you remember those exams you sat at the end of primary school in year six? Yeah. That is what we use or schools use to predict your GCSE grades. Now some schools will do things ever so slightly differently but that's what the majority of schools and the exam boards use to predict exam grades. But a lot of stuff has happened since you were 11. Um, puberty, hormones, relationships, life. I bet things at home are very, very different to how they were when they were 11. There might be more people at home, there might be less people at home, there might be completely different people at home. You are not the same person you were when you were 11 and when these when you sat this test in school, that your predicted grades, grades, predicted grades, predicted grades are based around. So, I know sometimes your predicted grades are very, very high. I know sometimes it feels like an impossible mountain to climb. That you know you've got these predicted grades, and maybe you've been entered for the higher paper based on your predicted grades, and you don't feel like you're ever, ever going to reach them. But your predicted grades are. A computer generated letter, computer generated number. They are not based on you as a person. You are worth so much more than what a computer says about you based on what you did when you were 11. So don't listen to your predicted grades. The other area that expectations are going to be putting pressure on you from is going to be home. Now, your parents might have fancy, fancy university degrees. You might have older brothers and sisters who got all nines at GCSE and all A stars at A level and now on these fancy, fancy university courses doing maths and engineering and you want to do drama. Maybe you're a completely different person to your parents. Maybe you're a completely different person to your older brothers, your sisters, your cousins. That's good. It is good that you are a different person to other people because if everything was the same, everything would be really, really boring. Imagine if all of your friends dressed exactly the same as you and they all agreed with exactly the same things that you did and you all ate exactly the same things all the time. It would be boring and it would be rubbish and you know, there'd be no variety. It is good that you are a different person to your parents. It is good that you are a different person to your brother and sister. But I do understand that having parents who are very, very fancy and high-flying and having older brothers and sisters and cousins who are very, very fancy and high-flying can put a lot of pressure on you to do the same, to live up to their expectations. And sometimes when you don't, it can feel like you've disappointed them, that you've let them down you haven't, you're just a different person, and that's okay. Not getting amazing grades, not meeting your parents' expectations, not getting your predicted grades in school is okay. I know the pressure, the, the immense overwhelming feeling that you have to do this, you have to live up to everyone's expectations, otherwise it will be the end of the world. It can sometimes be horrific and truly, truly overwhelming, but it will be okay. I know it doesn't feel like it at the moment. I know sometimes you can't really see how it will be okay, but if you don't get the grades, if you don't live up to those expectations, or maybe their expectations were wrong, 
maybe it's not you that was wrong, maybe it's the system that was wrong. I've done lots of other videos on um, stress and mental health during exam times um, and if you feel like you are a failure or could be a failure if you don't live up to the expectations just go and watch my video on being a failure if you don't get your exam grades and in that video I talk about various different things that might happen if you fail and um, with the aim of showing you that the world isn't over if you fail your exams. Um, so good luck guys, I'm going to be here with you every single step of the way, I promise. Ouch. Mm, I'll be too quick.